Buongiorno, buongiorno e benvenuti to Lydia's Italy. Lydia's Italy in America. And today we are in New York, New York City. The city, and certainly it is the pizza city. And today we're gonna cook pizza. First you need a good dough. Uh, a little bit of warm water, some yeast, just a little bit of, of sugar. And the sugar is the food for the yeast and it will begin to activate. Here we have flour and a little bit of salt. Uh, we could go just like that, step by step, but sometimes I think, especially in a mixing bowl, and especially if the mixing bowl is turning, you know, doing this will kind of just help you to lead it right in there and it directs it so you don't make the mess. So you know when you have the wheel churning, uh, this really comes in helpful. So we'll just give it a, a whirl to aerate it a little bit and very easy because of course all dry ingredients. Slowly introduce the wet ingredient. Okay, so I'll just change the paddle to a hook so you can really knead it, or you can just knead it by hand. And the hook will really, the dough hook will really work it out. Okay. Let's just oil a bowl. We'll let it rise here, so you just all oil it lightly so that it glides up easily as it rises. Okay. That should be. It has a nice feel. Just like that. So let's put the dough in the bowl so it will rise. Let's just cover it with saran so it doesn't form a film, and it kind of builds a little bit of, of its own heat in there. Just like that, let me go double around. Here we go, in half an hour, should be up, we'll punch it once down, and then we'll make our pizza. The dough has risen almost double in size, and there's a lot of dough, so let's address the dough. And you want a nice spongy dough just like this. Let's cut it in four. Cut it in four because out of this dough, I will get two pizzas, and then we'll make the calzoni out of the rest. So let's just put this out. I will work one of these doughs into a pizza. Stretch it out with your, with your fingers as much as you can. And then just kind of you roll it around and you press it with a rolling pin. And so, stretching it just like that. Don't be afraid to handle the dough with the back of your hand. Just slightly pull it so your knuckles kind of pull the dough apart. Stretching it. Okay. If you have a peel that you can put your pizza on, that's great. You put some uh, cornmeal or semolina and, and you put it right, right on. But otherwise, this will work very well. You just put back of a sheet pan, you put some parchment paper, and then you bake it right on the parchment paper. What's important about a pizza? is the temperature of the oven. So you crank up your oven the hottest that you can get it. And you know, usually 550 is what a regular home oven will go to. Those pizza ovens go up to eight, 900 degrees. And in, in depends on the temperature of your oven on how long it will, it will bake. I have here a little bit of fresh tomatoes, that, that mean fresh from the can. If you want to flavor it, just crack some garlic in there and put it in, but don't cook it. And you want the pulp, don't get it too wet. Now 
nice dry mozzarella. I mean, you can put the whole slice. I kind of like to break it up, or you can put the whole slices just like that. You could sprinkle it with grated cheese if you like, just to give it a little extra crunch. A little bit of basil. Just like that, you put it in the oven. That's the pizza verrace, the real pizza as they do it in Naples. So you take it like this, you have a stone in the oven, which is nice and hot, and you just slide it. It will slide right off with the parchment paper on the stone, and you have your pizza. Mmm. Fantastica. All right, the pizza is ready. And of course, I want to taste, ooh. Rest it just a few minutes, and let me, let me. Really good. 